Oh no. Oh no. Like, oh man. And of course I get I get the worst possible pair or wait, sorry, I get the worst possible pairing here. <sighs>
play h4. Goes there. I can play h5, but I think I should just keep slowly building up the position. No need to get too cheeky. No need to be too too. There's no need for premature attackulation here. To slowly, slowly improve. A la Magnus Carlson. Now the thing is, do I play g5 or not? Because this should be winning eventually. Maybe I just go king f4 to force him. Oh no, king f4 allows rook c4. Jeez, what am I doing? Oops, ah. About to go king f4 and blunder rook c4. Jeez, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, let's go here. <laughs> I'm going to play h5 to fix the pawns. I don't know if this is right either, but it's still playable. Okay, now I'm going to go e4, slowly try to play here. Not happy with my approach in this game, but I think I'm still going to win this in the long term. I'm probably sacking for the bishop at some point and going a6, a7. Slowly bring the king back. Bring the king in. I'm going to start to play f4. I, I guess at some point I have to play on the king side too. Now I'm winning a pawn here. I mean, it, it feels like he's... It's too hard to defend this. I mean, there's just too much, too many weaknesses. It goes there, logical. I'm going to go here, line up a wooden shield. Here. I know this, this has to be winning. If this isn't winning, I don't know what is. Oh, I can I can throw put the rook in jail with bishop e5, maybe. Yeah, yeah, actually, I just put the rook in jail, and that's game over. The rook's just locked up in jail, and now I just go king e4. I go here, and I just eat the pawn. There we go. We got the win. One up, one down. Pretty good start. Can't complain. It's all good. Yeah, that was that was a good finish, but man, what a game. Why isn't Ali Reza participating in SEC? Like I said, I don't know. My 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 general assumption is that it was probably financial related. That's that's the only thing that I can say um, as far as what I suspect, but nobody really knows. Okay, I'm gonna go G3, Bishop G2, keep it the same as always. XQC would have won that. Yeah. XQC would have won that, of course. I mean, XQC is like a really, really good chess player. Um d3 i don't even know why i just said that but i did let's go here let's just take go e3 actually i could have played e3 without taking but i think there's principia for the 11 months as well okay i'll go queen e2 I mean, all is very, very standard, very slow. I have the double op combo. I'm basically just waiting. Unsure which pawn I'm pushing here, but it's a very flexible structure to play. It was B5, which I do not like, because uh, now the problem for black is that I am going to eventually start attacking him on the king's side, and he's flinging the pawns in front of the king, and there are going to be some serious weaknesses in the long term now. Now g7 is hanging too, but I'll go h4 to consolidate first. I have c4 at some point to start smashing the center as well. g7 also hanging here. Very tough position for black to play. It goes rook h7, which is a move, but I don't know. c4 looks like the sort of move that I should play just because he can't, his king is kind of iffy here. I've got a great op that's just targeting on the diagonal. Takes with a D-pawn. I'm a little surprised. Now, I can take with a B or the D-pawn. Interesting choice. I'll take with a B-pawn. I don't even know if this is right. I can take and go D4 and get a big white center. I can also take and play Queen. No, I think I'm going to go A4. I don't know if this is right, but it feels like I should be better. I've got more of a center grip here. This king is very questionable. I don't know what rook A6 does. Um, I guess I'll just go knight B3, target the pawn. Because now, 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 now this knight is really, really well placed. 
should be quite a bit better for me. It's a question of whether it's winning or not. I don't think it is winning yet. Things are shot Buddha Mala for the prime. Things are just Buddha Mala. He goes bishop d6. I can play d4 maybe. Yeah, because now he takes f c5 to collect the juicer. Uh, 97 is actually... Uh, I didn't see 97. That's poor by me. But I guess I can just play e4. Now I have c5 to collect materials. Unless I'm blundering, but I don't think I am. Take. If he takes, I just take. Yeah, he just... Yeah, this is just over. It's going to be 3 out of 3. Okay, so good start. Three out of three so far. Thank you so much to Argentina Sebi for the two, and please, I want to quit for the prime. Thank you so much. I mean, is he... Okay, does take, so I take. I mean, everything wins here. Knight b3 wins, e5 wins. But no need to be cheeky. Just simple, good, solid chess should end the, end the game. Now I'll just try to trade the queens. Well, actually, I can't castle here, which is mildly annoying. I'd like to castle, but I... actually, I can't. What the heck is going on? Okay, wait. I'm going to go rook h3 just to slowly try to cover some squares. Okay, but now... Go here... And now in rook c2, I have rook c1 just to win, just to win the game. Because now I can also swing the rook over. Things with Jake Nasty for the 22 months. Things with Jake Nasty. Okay. I guess he's just kind of pouting or something. I, I don't really understand. with the queen i'm still guarding the knight he's got like some weak pawns here so no need to be fancy let's just drop back cover the square no knight jump you can obviously do it but again if he expects to somehow survive this uh g5 lodge plays take let's just go here Okay, goes there, I go here, and reroute the pony, and that will be all she wrote, eventually. Because now the bishop covers the square, and it all just starts to collapse. A little surprised he didn't resign until now, but that is what it is. Okay, three out of three, so far so good. Let's see who else is still playing. Um... Bishop g4, okay. Um, let's go here. I'll just play normal. I mean, I there's no reason to be fancy schmancy. I was gonna play this. Okay, so I'll go here and I h4, of course. Lando, by Lando. Oh, by Lando, by Lando. I could have just played knight d2 also. I don't know why I didn't just go knight d2, knight f3 in one go. But it is what it is, as the saying goes. I think he wants to go g5, knight h4. So I'm going to put the knight on f3 and play like b3 or something later on. I just don't want to allow this thing. Well, he has knight e5 at some point. 
really don't want to play d4 here. I also don't want to play c4. I guess I'm going to play b3. It doesn't feel right at all. Probably I'm going to play for d4 and c4 later on, just depending. I'll go here. Could have played d4 first. But now it's nice to go back. And now at least I get c4 and I get the setup I wanted where I can put the bishop back on d3. That's at least what I was hoping for initially, so. Whoa. I mean, I guess he can play bishop b4, a3 takes, but I'll just take with a king and I have a strong king in the center. What's the worst that can happen? Do I play a3 or bishop d3 is a question. a3 makes sense to some degree. Queen c2 makes sense. I'm going to go a3 here. Plays knight e4, I can just trade and go bishop e2 and king f1. I, I feel like bishop d3, bishop b4, a3, takes six, knight e4. It's kind of a bit sketchy at best. And I don't really want to allow that. Here comes the hockey song. He's way down on clock, which is good. Logical move, Queen E7. Very good move as well. Although I do have E4 and no E4 is no good tonight on H4. Do not like my position at all in this game. Let's play this. I guess I'll play E5. I'll take in castle. At least I've got a bishop on a bishop, which is good versus the knight on um h4 which is not good in my opinion let's go here this knight is kind of okay but it doesn't really have squares either c5's move b4 is a move but it's eh, i don't really want to i don't want to play c5 either i kind of have to come up with a move so i'm just going to delay and wait i'm going to make him do something i'll take this d4 i can just take i'll play that end game i guess Oh, but he has 94, which of course I also did not see at all. Hmm. I'll reroute my knight. Um, I can trade and play rook d1, I guess, but I think. Oh, he's just got 95, which I also did not see to save my life. Yuck. Um. Maybe I'm okay. Two. And stack maybe it's okay maybe maybe it goes b5 interesting move I guess I have to take I don't want to but I guess I just play chess and pretend that I'm okay here b4 I just take the well, rook c8 I also just missed didn't even see that move at all uh, this is going to get ugly. Pro I'm probably going to lose this game now. Unless there's something, some miracle here that I'm not seeing right off. <sighs> Let's see. No, this is a disaster. I just missed Rook C8 altogether. Although I can take and play rook d1 and rook d4. Let's do one. Not so clear. I have rook f5 to hit the queen. The rook d1 maybe? Seven. One rook c7 is the problem. Oh, rook d1, rook e6. Okay, I guess I just hit the queen. I've got to move quicker. I'm moving way too slowly in this game also. Six, I go here. Is 95, I think I can actually take the pawn. Oh, there's 90. Oh, geez, there's just 93, which I didn't. Ah, I didn't see that at all. <sighs> Gross. Yeah, I didn't see 93, and now I'm just lost. 
Uh, there's not even a move here. Wait, I'm kind of okay here. Wait. Yes, he missed rook c3. Yes. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Oh, I mean, he had rook c3 and he didn't see it. Rook takes c3 and rook d2 is just boom. Game over. I can't do anything. So I can't take the pin. And when I move the king, he takes my queen. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. That feels so good. I mean, obviously, I'm struggling here in this evening title Tuesday, but it's already very already here. It's like he's already completely messed it up. Like it's already very, very tricky with the uh, wide peoples. I know they're only split by one row, but the wide peoples, it's already quite tricky to play here. I'm um, thinking for Artenio Phoenix for the 11. Thank you, Doctor Housen for the eight, and Gavin for the prime. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. Hello World for the eight months. Appreciate it. Yeah. What a win. What a win. Seven out of eight. Now we are on the break, and I am definitely going to go clear my head after that game. All right, let's let's keep going. in my chat. I'm playing Becca, seven and a half. I don't know if Becca wants to draw or not, but I'm going to probably just play solid because I feel like I've already run a lot of luck so far. Like, I've been really luck boxing. Uh, okay, he goes knight of three, so I'll play d5 here. All pretty standard so far. Headed for one of these lines. Um, let's take a knight to six, of course. I think I lost. I drew back in some something similar to this. Yeah, you can go e5, d5, knight e7, which is fine. Problem is, it's very drawish, but I'll do it anyway. I mean, I can also go e4, which leads to a draw, too. That's the problem. This is actually Fabiano's game, I think, if I'm not mistaken. 97 is playable. It's a little bit shaky. No, I think I should just play the safe line with E4. 92, and I think is it 97? Rook D8 is also, I think, a move, but I'm pretty sure 97 is the correct order. At least he seems a little bit confused by the line. That's that's always a good sign. Interesting. He's a little bit confused. He won. That's definitely not the move. I know that much. Oh. Huh. Oh, Rook B1 is definitely not the correct move. I'm sure of that. G4 logical. Now I can take the pawn if I want. Um. I actually think he's kind of bluffing a little bit here. Kind of not really buying it, to be honest. G4, 94. 25, G2. Rook A, D8. I know somehow I'm just not buying this. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm insane. Maybe this is great for white, but it doesn't look right. It just does not look right to me. I'm going to go here. If D6, I have Bishop E6. Important in-between move here. 
and c6 and f5 yeah okay it's fine It plays bishop e2 to trade. I trade king e2, rook d8, rook d1. I mean, that actually should be better for me objectively. I don't know. I, I'm not so sure. I mean, he goes rook d1. I just play rook fe8. Very just simple, simple moves here. b4, which also does not look right. Go here. Target the knight, knight d5's a threat. I think he's blundered. I think I'm actually doing very well here. This king is very open. A lot of problems in the center of the board as well. I don't know, this looks very scary for white, but we'll see what he does. This is exactly what I wanted though. He's using way too much time. Okay, I mean, this is crazy. What is he going to do? Goes rook c1. Can I just check a knight d5? Wait a second. I also have queen h2 as well. Knight d5, knight g3. Queen h2, rook d5. Five, rook e3. I mean, again... H2, Knight G3. I think I should probably take the safe route here, though. It's not the time to get crazy about everything. Definitely not the time to be crazy. I should just slow this down to a crawl. Knight G3, Queen F3 actually looks very strong, too. I think I'm going to go here. It's just got no time, and it's just such a problem. Rook d3 must be a blunder, but why? Knight f4, maybe? Knight f4, rook d8, knight g2, and knight e3. Rook f, queen f4, queen f4, rook d8, queen e5. I know this looks right. I mean, everything is kind of collapsing. I guess I'll just take with check. Check. Yeah, this just, I mean, too many pawns. I mean, it's just three extra pawns. I mean, just a bunch of extra pawns on the uh, king side. F3, F7 takes, A6, F3, yeah. That should be straightforward, just takes. Okay, very, very smooth game in round number nine. Smoothest game all tournament, so what can I say? Pretty sure rook b1 was just a mistake, right? Yeah, knight takes, I mean, knight takes e4, queen b2 is the is very similar to the game between Hare Krishna and Fabiano in the uh, last one of the chess Olympiad. Very, I think actually that game went rook d1. I think it was rook d1 like rook d8 rook d2 or so, it was something it was some kind of repetition along these lines so anyway it is what it is we get the um we got the big dub very important win dubov wins as well so he's on eight it looks like everybody's done at the top <sighs> yeah probably i'm just gonna play something super slow
that's hilarious the way that game ended. I should have played G3 probably, but whatever. Good G3 maybe. If he plays H5, I'll play H4. He's probably going to go G6 or something and very flattish. Who's Dubov playing? Dubov is playing Bortnik. Okay. So, okay, let's focus. Um, I think I'm going to play Bishop H3 here. Could have played D3 right away as well. Let's go D3. I had F4 there as well, I guess, but whatever. Knight D2 also reasonable, but whatever. I guess, I mean, he can't castle here, so why am I so panicky? We'll play a3, kick the bishop back. I'm gonna go here. I have b4. I actually kind of like my position because he can't castle. I always have f4 as well. How do I do this? I think I'm gonna go here and knight b3 maybe. Attack the pawn. Should be very slightly better here, but it's gonna be hard to prove it. Because my instinct is that I'm better here. Because this knight on g6 is really misplaced, objectively. I'm way up on clock, which is always a good start. He plays knight b6, makes that makes a lot of sense. We'll just go here. I have a4, a5 lurking. That's a blunder, so I have this. Or is it? Uh oh no, I missed oh no, I missed um I missed g4. Shoot. I thought I could take and go knight f4, but he's g4. Oh, there's a lot of pawns waiting. Takes takes 27. Uh, I should have used more time before playing that. B8, Bishop F5, though. They don't burn at all. I thought I'd Knight F4 was just winning crud. Moves. I'm gonna go for this. I don't know if it's right. It's a little bit dangerous too. Oh, he's got knight. Wait, no. Yeah, I have to do this or else my bishop's getting trapped. Still very tricky though. I still have a lot of play here. All right, takes. Of course, I play e6. Yeah, I guess I'll go rookie one. We need five ideas. I'm definitely still better here. It's just a can I win this or not? Is the question. Of course, I go here. Actually, the more I look at this, more I'm becoming optimistic. Because these pawns are still soft. I take six G six. I'll do that. King G two is a move, I guess. I guess I should do it just to make sure I'm safe at least. Five. I know this looks right, so I'm gonna play it. Maybe I go F4 somewhere in here, or F3.
I think I misplayed this. I'm still better, I think, but I think I'm not winning anymore. Maybe, we'll see. Time is still very close. Uh, Bishop E8, maybe? I think this is a very important move that he missed. Okay, now I can't lose again, I think. Wait, now maybe I'm winning. Or I'm not. Why did I do that? That was stupid too. Oh, and it's checked too. I was, I mean, I should not have allowed B3. That was so stupid by me. <sighs> uh, I threw that. I mean, I just threw that. Why did I do this too? Like right here, I'm just much better if I play A4. Even here, I didn't trust trust my instinct with knight f4. I this is actually winning. Oh, because I have queen h5. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, that's playing too much. I saw the line and then I didn't. I didn't see. I didn't see. I didn't see queen takes h5. That's why I didn't play it. I saw knight f4 and then I just for some reason I thought after takes takes the knight was trapped. I didn't look deep enough. Ah, it happens. It's another long title Tuesdays. Ah, that's upsetting. Because I saw the line, too. I saw this. But I just missed G4 initially, or else I would have blitzed it out. The funny thing is, if I had blitzed it out, then I would have seen it. That's what's so tragic. I would have seen it. Although, apparently, it's not... Actually, wait, it's not so clear. But here, I can even do this one, and I'm still probably better. King G2 and F4. Yeah. Still better, but... Oh, I was supposed to take... Oh, because if I take, then there's no pass pawn. I can always go like bishop a4, b3. With king g5, rook f4, yeah. Ah, uh, that's so stupid. And even here, it's still... No, but now it's kind of... Yeah, it's already kind of gone. Yeah, it's, already, it's just gone here. Frustrating. I can still win, maybe. I can still win the game, but... Dubov drew, so I guess I have to play the final round. Thank you to Google, Texas Mudbug, Luat. Yeah, it's 96 and 9 to 4 is right, yeah. No, I should have played A takes B4, actually, more I think about it, because conceptually it makes much more sense than playing it with A4. But, eh. Nah. 